Most Earthlings are unaware of the potential hazards in space, but the list is long and growing. Imagine this. Within our own galaxy, the Milky Way, a massive star explodes, sending a lethal burst of energy rocketing toward our planet. This is a gamma ray burst, the biggest explosion to rock the universe since the Big Bang. In the cities and countryside below, there's no warning of what's about to happen. And then it strikes. It would be equivalent to standing one mile away from Hiroshima, any place on the Earth. The potent radiation cooks the upper atmosphere. Our ozone layer roasts. Across the hemisphere, human beings burn to death from radiation, a hundred times the fatal dose. The disappearing ozone layer causes increased temperatures around the world, triggering cyclones, tsunamis, and hurricanes. Most life on the surfaces of land and water incinerates. This may seem like science fiction, but it could happen if a gamma ray burst hit Earth from 100 light years away. Gamma ray bursts are the brightest explosions in the universe. Uh, because they're so far away and yet still so brilliant, they must involve an enormous amount of power. Uh, as much energy as the sun will emit in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. As a young student, Stan Woosley always liked experiments that go boom. Now, the work of this astrophysicist is more than child's play. He's one of the galactic detectives trying to uncover the mysteries behind gamma ray bursts. Uh, we know there are many planets and many stars throughout the cosmos, so there may have been countless civilizations that were destroyed by gamma ray bursts. These peculiar beams of radiation were first spotted in the 1960s. At first, most astronomers believed these gamma ray bursts must exist in our own galaxy, the Milky Way because they're so bright. There were reasons for that. One was that if they were outside the galaxy, the, the energy was almost unbelievable. But at the time, even the most powerful telescopes couldn't determine their location and distance because the bursts lasted for a few seconds, then disappeared. But then astronomers wondered, what about their afterglow? Cosmic explosions typically leave behind some luminous residue that sometimes lasts for days or weeks. In the late 1990s, satellites used upgraded optics and X-ray detectors to finally capture a gamma ray burst's afterglow. It became clear that gamma ray bursts actually were cosmological, coming from very far outside of our galaxy, from millions and billions of light years away. And that meant their energy had to truly be astronomical. To get some idea of how incredibly bright a gamma ray burst is, we could represent the brightness of our sun by this relatively dim LED. And we could represent the brightness of the gamma ray burst by the very, very intense searchlight that's behind me. Isn't that incredibly bright? Unfortunately, with this comparison, the searchlight is not nearly bright enough to represent fully the gamma ray burst. And in fact, we would need 100 billion such searchlights to have an adequate comparison. The gamma ray burst is equivalent to the brightness of a million trillion suns. These massive bursts could decimate Earth. But what causes them? We are quite convinced that the common gamma ray burst comes from the death of a massive star, at least 10 times the mass of the sun. And such stars are quite rare, by the way. Woosley masterminded a groundbreaking model of how gamma ray bursts may be created. When an extremely massive star dies, it collapses into a black hole 
black holes are created when a collection of matter collapses to such a high density that light itself cannot escape. But Woosley proposes that some of the star resists getting sucked into the center of the black hole. As a result, a high-speed spinning disk of matter forms around it. Within seconds, jets of plasma shoot out from its rotational poles. These beams of energy unleash dangerous gamma rays into space. If you can imagine just trying to squeeze a fruit or some kind of sphere of some object into a very small space, uh, things are going to squirt out. And in this case, the squeezing is done very rapidly, and you're talking about a huge amount of mass. At the same time the gamma ray bursts are rejected, the collapsing star explodes or goes supernova to the extreme. One of the reasons gamma ray bursts are so incredibly bright is that they take an enormous amount of power and then they focus that power into a very small portion of the sky. For every 300 gamma ray bursts that go off, only one is pointed in our direction. And so we only see one of those 300. Even if a gamma ray burst were to occur not 100, but 1,000 light years away, the Earth could still face apocalyptic destruction. If a gamma ray burst happened within 1,000 light years of the Earth, then it would be approximately 500 times brighter than the sun and emitting gamma rays. The energy delivered to the Earth's upper atmosphere would be like 100,000 megatons of nuclear explosions. The ozone would be depleted. We'd have acid rain, but we'd also have flash burns, incineration of vegetation, perhaps something resembling nuclear winter. So there could be a global extinction of many species. Now the far side of the Earth would be a special place to be, because gamma rays don't go through the Earth, and if you were on the other side, you wouldn't get flash burned. But the effects of depleting the ozone and changing the composition of the atmosphere would eventually come to the other side, and there the effects are unknown. Statistically, this ghastly scenario has a 1% chance of happening once in the Earth's entire lifetime. But even these odds aren't reassuring if you're living on the planet at that very moment. If you're caught in the beam, that's a bad day for you. If one of these happens in your galaxy and that beam is coming your way, go hide in a cave because this is very high energy radiation. It's the kind of energy that will decompose your molecules and you just don't want to be, be around when that's happening. There currently are no defense measures to shield us from gamma ray bursts if they happen close to Earth. They travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. By the time we detect them, they will have already struck our planet. Gamma ray bursts could pose a hazard to the Earth or to anything living that came within their bore site. Uh, but as we've seen, they're, they're very infrequent. And there are other things in the heavens and on the Earth that are much more dangerous. Cataclysms routinely erupt in some corner of the universe. And one day, something will snuff out Earth. Most of the time, our ride around the sun is gentle and uneventful like this Ferris wheel. And as long as nothing gets in our way, we could go on like this for millions of years. But sooner or later, we know that this smooth ride will come to an end. We just don't know when. Sadly, our planet's ultimate demise will probably come from the very thing that provides us life. Mm -hmm.